there are a crazy amount of financial hoops that CBD shop owners have to go through to keep in mind, sell a product that's legal. It makes you feel like you're doing something wrong um, when in actuality, you know, we follow all of the compliance and regulatory guidelines. Colin Plant owns Can I Hemp Co. in Milwaukee. He says banks have not made his life easy. There's so much gray area over it that they just don't want to take the chance. Meaning he says his bank actually closed his business accounts and about a month later closed all of his personal bank accounts too. So it was a nightmare, um, uh, to, to say it lightly. No bank accounts meant he couldn't swipe people's credit cards or participate in online retail either. A catastrophe for any small business. Plant says it's because big banks don't want to take a chance on something related to cannabis. We're in a federally and state legal business and industry. It's just the institutions, uh, the financial institutions, you know, a, a opinion and kind of position on it is like bending over in front of a steamroller to pick up a penny. That's despite Forbes reporting that the industry could be worth more than $20 billion in just four years. But that doesn't mean you'll see online ads like you'd expect from an industry that generates that much money. You can't advertise for, you know, vape or any smokable or inhalants or tinctures even. It's, it's really um, very restrictive. Plant learned that the hard way with Google. And they were like, look, you know, you can run this um, uh, at your own risk, but you, you've got a really short window um, before we will uh, basically shut down your entire Google Ads account. While the future is uncertain, Plant says things are beginning to look a little brighter. It's also had a number of institutions that have turned us down in the past reach out and say, hey, we're looking into this space now. Are you interested? In Milwaukee, James Grow, TMJ4 News.